speak Darkness has to bow Confusion has its final hour Well, good morning, friends, and welcome to the Thursday Three. I'm Langdon Palmer, and I'm so glad you're with us this morning. This morning, in my devotions, I noticed something I had never noticed before, this beautiful echo of the book of Isaiah in the book of Revelation. Listen first to Isaiah. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. The rebuke of his people he will take away from all the earth. I think that written a thousand years before the book of Revelation, a thousand years before Jesus came, those words were a foreshadowing of what would be revealed in the book of Revelation and accomplished by Jesus Christ in his life, death, and resurrection. Listen to what the book of Revelation says. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. This is such an awesome reminder that no matter how dark and bad it looks now, we know how this story ends, and it ends well. We can rest in that, that there's coming a day at the end of days when all will be set right. Let us rest in this as we go out into our day this morning. Let's pray. Lord, there's an awesome praise song right now on the radio that says, I may not know what tomorrow holds, but I know one thing for sure. I've got a good Lord. So God, we know that whether it is good or bad tomorrow, whether we go through the valley of the shadow of death or we have a mountain high, that all of this will pass away and in the end, we will be with you. We will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. As I prepare to go out into this day, help me to rest in that. Help me to trust in that. Help me to act like someone who is living inside that promise. I ask all these things in the name of my good and faithful Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Friends, thanks for being with me. Isn't God's word amazing? It's through and through. There's one author to all of this, and he gave it for us. I hope you have a great day. And hey, wherever you live, if you currently don't have a home church, I invite you to join us at Leverington uh, online or in person. You can get all the details at leverington.org. For now, go in peace. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you.